when it comes to getting clients, you know, it's it is about building rapport. It really is. And there's a lot of clients out there that know, oh, I need to see a psychologist or a counselor or I need to get a therapist on board or something like that. Sometimes we need to remove the word therapy. So even though you're a hypnotherapist, sometimes you need to remove that and just bring in your authentic self. So I'm going to talk about volunteering today because, you know, like even in Australia, we've got all these floods absolutely everywhere and people are, are seeking assistance. And volunteering, I used to volunteer at a football club and volunteering can really just people connect with you they want to support you and not only does it bring bring you across as a community-based person but it also brings across those community values as well oh now I've got fuzzles on my face from you so it brings across those community values as well and when people notice those community values they really really appreciate them well hang on a second <laughs> so let's talk about some events before we get too deep. Have you booked your uh, Heal the Inner Child that's in Melbourne or our gut directed hypnosis training just yet? Because we will be shutting off the application dates very, very soon because we've got to get all the books printed, etc., etc. We have finalized the location, which will be in Melbourne at the Footscray Library. And that's really exciting because the lady there has been absolutely lovely. She's absolutely gorgeous. And there's heaps of parking. Like, that's one thing I really like about locations when I'm looking for them. It's got to be heaps of parking and close to getting you guys something to eat. So jump on here, the inner child. It's only a one day training, $49 on November the 14th. And you you will have three different techniques uh, presented to you. You'll learn the Jungian archetypes as well. Or jump on Gut Directed Hypnosis Certification, which is our big two-day training. And that is recognized by the AHA. Uh, recently got an email from the AHA as well. And they were like, hey, we need to do a reassessment on your course. And I'm like, yep, yeah, sure. So I reassessed and instantly they were just like, yep, you're fine. Trish was like, thanks, guys, you're champions. So thanks so much for that. Um, so, yeah, we do have pay plans available as long as it's paid for by the time uh, the course is due to go live. We're all good with that. So the sooner you get it started, the easier those payments can be. So you'll get full access, all the modules, all the scripts. Um, you know, we're going to be talking uh, inside of the gut director. We're going to be talking about chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, uh, Crohn's, colitis, IBS, weight loss, heaps and heaps of stuff. And this is all science based stuff. We're also going to show you how to sell your hypnosis programs because I get it that, you know, you learn this stuff and then you're like, oh, my God, I'm a great hypnotherapist, but I'm shit at selling. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So jump on that, jump onto the Web page. You can book with the button. If you need a pay plan, just message me and go, hey, I need some help. Uh, we'll help you out as best that we can. But otherwise than that, let's get on with today's video. I'm a little bit uh, out of sorts as such today. So here we go. So remember when you're doing your client tracks, you have to be consistent. Uh, I, I watch a lot of TikTok, as many of you know, and there was a lady on there just the other day and she was talking about how so many uh, people are just like, you know, just do this and you'll make $10,000 a month on Etsy or just do this and you'll make $20,000 a month selling your course, blah, 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 blah. The reality is it takes time. It really does. We know from statistics, from Facebook ads and Google ads, that somebody has to see your ad approximately 10 times before they'll get to the stage where they'll click through. And then from the click through, they'll still procrastinate for up to two to three weeks on that offer. So, you know, all these people that are going call to action, call to action, call to action, they've already built up rapport inside of their community and people will purchase because they already know what it's all about. But if you're looking for those new clients to come on through, then it's going to take time. Volunteering in your community really helps business rapport. When people see and interact with you, they begin to bond and they want to support you. Like I said, I was in the, the Heathmere Football Club for many years and like uh, I just kept absolutely just chockers by doing that. And all I did was uh, Thursday nights and some Saturdays uh, back then. And, you know, they, they, they're a very clicky group. Like, they will only support those that are with them within them. So, you know, if you had a tiler in there or a builder or a gardener or whatever, they will go within there first. People would rather pay more for someone that they trust. And that's known as com community spirit and shopping local. So volunteer somewhere. I took some really bad advice from a, a guru many, many years ago when I first started. And she was just like, nah, 
never give away your service, never discount your service, never do this, that, something else. And I was like, wow, I come from a, a country town. You know, we, we all jump in and help each other, even if we didn't know someone. And, you know, and then I, when I, you know, kind of, when it all kind of went pear-shaped with her advice, I went back to the football club and, you know, went back to a few things. I'm like, yeah, this, this stuff really works and it works so much better. But you have to be in it for the long haul. This is all about longevity here. This is not just a quick hit, quick hit, quick hit. You want some quick hits, do some quick smoking sessions for 200 bucks and you'll make yourself a few grand and, you know, off you can go. But it won't be what you're passionate about or what you really want to niche down to. So choose a volunteer group that resonates with you and it rewards you spiritually and mentally there's no point in jumping into a volunteer group and you feel ostracized or uh, that you don't resonate there are so many people in those groups already that really need to find their own other community group and you're going to come across them there's there's one in every single group but are you going to be ostracized as a whole just for volunteering or for helping out so once you've done that from here people will get to know you and you can hand out flyers and vouchers and coupons and business cards and you can start to generate that clientele so jump into those groups they're always looking for volunteers like uh, we had Nana Bear out at the Heathmere Football Club. She didn't have any kids in the football club. She just loved football. That was it. And she'd just pop out and she'd, uh, you know, fluff around in the kitchen and stuff like that. So you don't necessarily even need to have someone inside of the club or the community in order to join and to volunteer. So it's very, very healthy. It's really great for the internal spirit. And we know that more people that volunteer and connect with their local communities are healthier, they're happier, and they network so much better. So jump into some volunteer work and you'll be surprised. Not only will it help your business grow, but it'll also help you grow as well. So otherwise from that, lovelies, I will see you in the next video. So get out there, help the community, and grow. Bye-bye.